Hello and welcome to another video from Lady and the Frogs. This is going to be a quick haul video of this stuff that I've got here because I want to get it ironed and photographed today and put on my spreadsheet um, because I've got nowhere else to put it. Um, I should be being careful how much I'm sourcing but then I also don't like to miss out on what might be out there and there is some good stuff there although hence I wouldn't have got it. Um, it was the prescription run on Friday so I had to go, I had to go. Um, first thing I did get was this t-shirt here. Uh, hey boy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry out some justice, justice. So it is actually an official NYPD one. Um, they don't sell for much, about £15 in the UK really, well, I think £15 in the US as well. Um, but I quite fancied it, you know, and then you will know that I am the long arm of the law. Yeah? You ever. Right, that's it. submit you will submit my trousers are falling down help you will submit you will submit to the law you will submit to cruel and unjust police brutality you are nothing but a froggy that's such a racist term hey simon do something ah. and you down you are both going to be tried against the highest authority of law. Oh, I took the chocolate. Say nothing. Did you say something, boy? Did you say something? Oh, you will submit. So anyway, no frogs were harmed during the filming of that process oh it's okay he's just an actor yeah i am available for castings anytime soon i'm sitting here waiting so anyway um i pay two pound for this t-shirt um it's mine so things that i have um they've all fallen down so i have got these which need washing because the smell. Um, Rock and Republic. I've never found this brand. It's not a Victoria Beckham version of it, but it was £1.50. Um, so I think they'll do okay. You know, just like any standard jeans, 20 to £25, I think, really, on them. Um, not, you know, extraordinary money. I did take a I did take a long walk. I didn't just go to the place where the prescriptions were because I just fancied having a walk. So I did do a three mile walk and went to two places. So these are the Bernardo's things. Um, that I probably should have left that behind because they don't sell that well really. I think I've already got one of these and I should have just left it, but it was two fifty. Uh, it is supposedly a large. Um, yeah, I suppose I could wear that, but I don't need to. Um, another Bernardo's thing, I think is this. Very summery, so probably won't sell for another six months. Um, but two pound fifty, and it's a Joe Brown's uh, type thing. Mind you, it is very summery on my video because I seem to have a light trap here. Uh, yeah. So what does it say? Peace, beach, sun, surf, life. And it's probably got a mark on it that I've missed because I'm getting, I'm very bad with these light coloured t-shirts, but it seems okay. Again from Bernardo's, this was 250 
I think I'd seen that before and I hadn't got it. And then I did think, well, why haven't I got it? It's Karen Millen. It's just a basic top, um, size 10. Um, yeah, a nice little vest top. That should do okay. Should be to get 15 for that. Then this, which is pure collection, which I'm still on the fence about. Um, I don't find it sells that well for me. Um, it does look like it's got roll tab sleeves and it's 100% linen, which I think is why I sailed off out of it. Yeah, 100% linen. So, you know, again, <laughs> it's summer. Why have I bought it? Uh, what have we got here? They had a few, uh, they had, they had, they had a Mickey Mouse one, uh, Red Nose Day one, and then they had this one. So I came back with this one. I've already got a Mickey Mouse one, which isn't really selling. Uh, 2 50 on that. Because it's Red Nose Day, I will put a 10% donation to Comic Relief on it because it's just morally right. <laughs> I always just think, well, suppose life is, you know, like Big Brother, which is more and more feeling like I'm an actor. Uh, you know encountering actors every day because everybody is either stupid or they're an actor and put there to wind me up um so you know it's morally right to do that if i die and then davina is there showing me my best my best bits and things i've done wrong i want to make sure that i've donated to charity where appropriate then i've got this they had a few new with tags cardigans and jumpers and things from Marks and Spencers but I only came out with this one it's not like it's anything special but it's got a decent design on it um, and it is a size 22 is it yes uh, it says it was 25 pound originally so that's all right and it was 250 so I should expect to get um, 15 to 20 on that then this which is a brand which i rarely find i was a bit reluctant on this because it looked like there was something wrong with it but then looking at other ones that have been listed on this it's supposed to look um washed out um yeah i don't know what they call it like sun kissed washed out or something weird um it's hush you know which i just never find but it's not really there's no glamour to that so I don't expect to get any more than 15 for that. And it is it is just really weird. It's like it's bleached or something, but it is the intention of the lemon yellow on it. Um, so I think that was everything that I got from that one shop. And then this is all from Cancer Research. So I've got these, which are, I think they're 2XL or 3XL? 3XL, um, but petite. So, some do short like me, but got a big waist. Kim and Co. Uh, they are wet look, like pleather type things. So I'm hoping to, that they'll do quite well. Um, I don't half have a problem taking photographs of burgundy items. Um, we are a household though where I'm an Android user, Samsung, and my husband is an Apple. He's just upgraded to another Apple yesterday, so we just had to spend two hours in Apple. <laughs> With them trying to sell me stuff that I didn't want, which I never will. I just can't see the point because it doesn't last any better than any other products. I'm very much a Microsoft user because I've been brought up on it. I've worked in admin. Um, I'm a quantity surveyor of about eight years. So I'm used to using Microsoft Excel and their version of, of Excel ain't a patch on it. So it's just never going to happen. They're trying to like sell me. They had a computer in there that was worth 13,000. It's like I said to the guy, I said, well, I don't even have a car. You've had 13,000 to spend on something. It would probably be a car, not that, or paying off other things. So anyway, the crux of the matter is my husband's iPhone will take, will bring out the colour in these properly. Although they look okay in the video, it's just when I come to doing the photo of it, I tend to have to put my very white arm in the picture 
to bring the correct colour balance in and the correct shading in on the burgundy items when I take them. But the other thing that I was going to say, because it's clever and because Kim Kardashian is a weirdo, um, a lot of my pleather and leather stuff is flying out of the door. So long may it last. Um, nearly didn't get this. I don't know what I'll get for them, like maybe 20. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still trialing um, Kim and Kay. This is the Couples, but a sports range. And I mean, who does sports in a sheer blouse? Um, what is this sport? I don't know. <laughs> who even knows? But it seemed quite nice. And then I just thought, well, some of this Couples stuff is really popular. So let's go with it. Right, that's a coat. I'm going to put that there and put it with the other coats. Oh, that's a sort of like jacket thing. So let's let's get organised here. Oh, this feels like it might be cashmere. Oh, I think it is because I certainly wouldn't bring home jigsaw for anything other than cashmere. Right, it's got cashmere and silk in it. So this is a jigsaw top. Obviously, I've spent three pounds on it. Um, it's a bit naff to be honest, but. The content is why I bought it. Um, I did wonder if there was something wrong with it because it's got holes all down the back of it. But then, you know, that would be a tragic accident to get an absolute perfect line of holes all the way down the back of a top if it wasn't intentional. So I should be able to get 20 for that based on the fact that it's got silk and cashmere, but only 5%. So, you know, let's not get too excited. Um, so I fed Perry here, but it is an interesting one because it's got accent collar in tartan and a pocket in tartan, but it's small, small men's might not go for that much. Fred Perry's going right downhill, um, which is a shame. It needs some more celebrities knocking around in it. So I'm thinking 20 for that. But again, I've only paid like two or three pounds for all of this stuff. I'd never really go over the mark with that. I've got this blouse here. Um, Lord knows why I spent three pounds on this tatty blouse um, out of season. It's Bowden. It's a size 12. It should do okay, but I probably should have left that behind. <laughs> why are you bothering watching? Anyway. 15 to 20 no 15 it's not going to be anything more than that this might be something that i keep um this is very much this is definitely from 1998 i can hand on my heart tell you that this is from the utility chic phase which i remember because i was 18 and i remember we all wore this weird stuff because at the time when i was looking at this I was like, hmm, what's going on here? This, I mean, this pocket that this got on here, on this dress, is big enough to put a phone in it. And I was thinking, well, why did we need that? Of course we needed that. We had those Nokias, 3310, didn't we? That's what was the thing. And the other thing, the reason why I might keep this, is because there is so much stretch to this dress. It is unbelievably stretchy. So it's not anything like amazing, but it is top shop and that is 1990s label. Um, so the older you see that label, sometimes it has a website on it. It will have a co.uk. This one doesn't have any of it. It does say made in the UK, which points to the end of the 90s. Um, it doesn't have a website on it but some of them do i've put it away so i can't show you it'll have .co.uk on but the modern top shop stuff will have .com on it um i don't know the domain name thing so i'm not an expert on it but that's what it tends to be but i do really like that but is it really a size 12 is it what well, says it's a size 14 yeah <laughs> 
only based on stretch. We'll see how that looks. I might look like Bolgeretta in it. So I don't know. I do expect to do quite well with that. I'd be tempted to put it on for 30, but it'll probably sell for 25. So this other stuff I got here, I got very lucky um, walking in there. Considering that I went to the other charity shop first and it, when I get around to this charity shop, if I don't go early doors there, there's always other resellers and people who are very determined. Um, I'm going to make sure that I go again tomorrow, but go early doors because it is always rinsed if I go midday. Um, but these had obviously all just been put out. I expect to find holes in this, which I haven't found. No, that's a bit of fluff. I've just busted the hoover around before I did this video but I've got so much going on here, um, <laughs> who even knows? So this lucky haul that I got is all of John Smedley. Um, I think it's gonna be the Sea Island Cotton. Uh, what is it? It doesn't say, so it just says cotton, it doesn't say Sea Island. Maybe it's underneath the thing here. Oh yes, it is. So Sea Island Cotton. Um, it's always very good. This is made near where my parents live. So I usually only pick this up when I go down and see them in Nottinghamshire. But one, um, I would expect to get 30. Not that one. Not over there. So these are the knits. What have we got? Oh, no, no, these are all polos. So that was just... A, that was just a basic knit, but long, but short sleeve. So, you know, I think Daniel Craig likes it. I think that's the thing. There are celebrities who wear it. I'm not sure about this label. I think I'm gonna have to like put a stitch in that because this one's a bit weird. So it's a different label on that one. Um, still the sea iron cotton, a polo shirt in, with stripes. Um, another one in this beigey colour, but this time a long sleeve jumper. Um, what are we doing with this? No, polo. Polo. Oh, the light is moving. The light is moving. That's why I need to get on with my photos because in a minute it's going to be really difficult to photo. So, where's the sizing? Oh, this XL for that. I think those ones would be a decent size. And then the last item from that brand, again, John Smedley, another polo, but this time striped, but brown. Um, yeah, fantastic find. That was the first thing that I found in there because I was thinking, oh, here we go again. What am I doing? It's going to be rubbish. And then it wasn't rubbish. <laughs> so, depending. I would think 30 for each of them, but I'll have a good look. Um, I'm gonna have to check for holes and things, but I expect to do very well. So this was also in the menswear. Is it menswear? Who knows? It's a cardigan. I suppose it is a bit mannish because the men now are not men, are they? You know. So it's Gap but it is 100% cashmere, cashmere. Um, no holes, but there will be a hole once it comes down to it, or when it arrives with the person, there will be accusations of holes. It's got a hole in it. My life is over. So, oh, this seems to have collected fluff just from being in here, or maybe not. Oh, so I'm going to have to hang this on the balcony and defluff this one, I think. Um, not this one. So let's try and remove this one from the fluff world. I knew I, I knew I was in trouble when I picked that up. I nearly left that. So this is Under Armour uh, zipped. Yeah, full zip top. Um, I would try for... I've just had a hoodie on for 30 and I sold it for 20. So I think it's really a 25er with Under Armour. It's you know just slowly going downhill as a brand but still okay for the fact that i've paid three pounds 
So, you know, that's not to be sniffed at. People do need jackets. People need jackets. So this jacket, which is covered in something, fur-wise, I don't know. It's nice weather, so I'm just going to put it on a hanger and defuzz it on the balcony. Um, it's a pure wool jump jacket. I say, I say, boy, you need working on. Yeah, so it's obviously BHS who've gone out of business. So if people like BHS, they're going to have to go on eBay. Um, pure wool. Um, it was in the menswear, but I suspect that this is women's wear. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly think it's women's wear. It's too... It's not right for a man. Um, I'll have a good look at that. I'm sure it's got size label in there. Let's put it in isolation over there. Oh, it must be this thing, hasn't it, that's deferred onto it? Of course. Oh, so you're going to be trouble, are you? Do you know, I nearly left this as well. Um, and my reasoning behind nearly leaving it is it's misguided. Um, as I've said in other videos, living in Manchester means that you are absolutely inundated with pretty little thing, uh, misguided and boohoo, because they're all based here. And all the returns and the garbage, which they can't even... Um, manhandle back on to somebody ends up in the charity shops so i think we have an inordinate amount of boohoo and all that you see more of it than you do primark but i picked this up since you know it's not going to fit me because it's a size eight holy shit oh see look i am a size eight so yeah a nice huggy bear i just think that this style is wonderful but for some reason, because they're cheap, nasty brand, the the fur pile is just coming off. I can see it onto my nice hoovered carpet, it's coming off. And they also don't put a clasp on it because they're cheap skates. So I'm hoping that that'll sell quite quickly. Jeez, it's actually quite warm in the world. Yeah, so size eight, I'm gonna have to put that in a bag so that it doesn't ruin everybody else's day. It's like, it's coming out everywhere. You can have that, Simon. Oh, ta! So, um, I did a cursory check. They don't sell that much on eBay. I'm thinking like 25 quid because I don't want it kicking about too long. Um, but 45 to 60 on their website. So the thing is about these jackets, is they're timeless. People will always want a faux fur. I like my faux fur. And then I picked this up, and I nearly didn't pick this one up either, but then I just thought, oh, it's quite nice. It's by Barney's, and I wasn't so sure if that was actually the Barney's of um, the US, because it's just, there's, there's nothing to it. It just is Barney's original. Um, what size is it? Size eight. So you see, yeah, you see it's got English sizing on it because it definitely is a British 8. So maybe it isn't um, anything to do with America. It's just somebody called Barney who started out. Um, it's real leather, you know, dry clean only, but obviously it's brand new with tags. Somebody has just sold a U... When I did research on it, after I'd come back because I just thought it's okay, it's real leather, it'll sell whatever. Um, somebody somebody sold this for seventy pounds, so and that was used. So I think I'm okay with you know my decision there. So I am going to get all that on a, my spreadsheet, and then I'm going to photograph it while the light is good. Um, I have to dehair this of the boohoo shedding because this is quite nice. It is a really nice. English thing being infected by the English thing which isn't English if you, if you know just cheap nasty mass-produced stuff you know but it will sell <laughs> we're all corporate now we're all corporate 
So I'm going to crack on and get all this listed so that I can, you know, put it away and not have it sat in the living room like so much other stuff because it's here, it's there, it's everywhere. There's stuff everywhere because I only live in a small apartment and, you know, why am I doing this? Well, because, you know, life is better at doing this than it being ordered around. Right, boy? Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs> Gotta help. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble deep.